Doing that, but that's just presents. 18 inch leg kit installation video. Hey guys, thanks for joining us here in the Dream Mat Cave. We're going to come down here and show you a quick installation video of the 18-inch the uh, leg kit, which is becoming really popular with uh, a lot of our sluices here. A um, couple advantages, quick advantages of the 18-inch leg kit is, of course, they're not as long, but uh, is the price difference. Price difference is great. They got the, the half-inch uh, aluminum and... Uh, and it's really just a sturdy, affordable leg kit. Brother David designed some uh, brackets that go on to the side and help support the actual sluice. And it makes it really, installation is really simple on it. And so there's really a lot of advantages. Um, uh, we'll go over those in a little bit after we install it there, but uh, we'll show it after we put it on. But right now we got an 18 inch leg kit already mounted onto this one right here. You can see this one I have off right here. And uh, so we're gonna show you what you're gonna be getting when you get the 18 inch leg kit. So you'll be getting four legs, of course, and you'll be getting four brackets, and then you'll be getting eight screws, eight washers, and eight lock washers is what you're gonna get in the kit. So it's a pretty simple kit. On the kits, you're gonna see on one side, you're gonna see, it's gonna say A side on one side, and it's gonna have B side on the other side. And so a lot of people are asking, what are these two different sides and what they're for? Well, the A side, of course, is what it is in each bracket. What it is, is the holes, that, the bolts the, that the actual legs go down through are, are cantered on the side. So they set up at eight degrees when you end up putting these on the side. So one's for right, one's for left is what it is. So the holes are all exactly the same. So no matter if you put it on the wrong side, you can switch it around the other side. So drilling the holes isn't the question there. So you're gonna have an A side, left side, and a B side. And it doesn't matter if it's A or B is what it is. So you get two of those for each side. So people are asking on the questions is, where should I mount this? On the front side of the flare and the back side here? Well, that all depends on the actual size of the actual sluice. If you got a real long 48 inch sluice, like this one here in the background right here, you're not gonna have to mount it really close to the back here. This one right here, I got mounted about uh, three and a half inches is what I have for the edge of the actual um, bracket. And then on the front side, we just end up going straight down from where the flare starts right here. So if you drew a straight line down from the flare, that's about where the edge of this goes right here. So it's pretty easy. You can just eyeball that down, put the edge there and mount that bracket there. So the installation part of it is really easy. Um, what you end up doing is grabbing the actual bracket and then you lay it on a flat surface like this and then actually just push down onto the actual sluice and that's going to end up putting the, the bracket flush with the bottom. You want that flush with the bottom because that bracket is helping support that sluice. If you put, don't put a flush and put it so it's hanging up a little bit there, then it's not going to support the bottom. You want to put it straight down flat to the bottom is what you want to do. And that's the key to that. So it's going to be hard drilling it like this. So it's easier to just lay it down on a flat surface like this. Is what it is. It's the mountain gear that you're going to end up needing. You're going to end up needing a flat tip screwdriver, a wrench, and a drill bit. What I got here is I got a nut driver that I can use. And then I got my drill. The quarter inch is what they are. The size of the nuts are. And what we do is we got these, these uh, flathead um, nuts on the back side and an actual on this side right here, we have a lock nut is what we have. And so this has a really big flat surface on it, which it goes on the inside there. And what we do, we just grab a little drill bit that's bigger than quarter inch is what you want. And you should be able to test it out, put it inside your actual um, uh, bracket here and be able to see it. So it should just be just snug. If you're this can be a bigger drill bit than quarter inch. So you have a little bit of slop. So when the nuts go through there, it'll actually make it so this can actually hold up and oh, on the back side of the sluice. So this one I've already drilled through is what it is. This one right here, after I drilled the first hole through, a lot of times it's just as easy as you, after you put the first hole in, put the, the nut on there, and that'll hold that in place. 
and drill the second hole. And then I can put the second bolt in. What I got is the nut driver, which it makes it a lot easier just to, to secure this in there. You can actually go around, install the lock nuts and the washers. Get a flathead screwdriver. Put it on the back side. You can rent, use your wrench and wrench it on, which you can do it that way too. But that, do that times four, and you got all your brackets mounted. It's actually pretty simple. I can go through this in probably about five minutes, and I can mount all these brackets on here. Pretty easy. Um, so yeah, so after you get all your brackets in there, you just gotta put your, your legs in. And here you have your wing nut. This is where we're talking about the angle. If you know it's on the right side, if it's facing the other way, you got it on the wrong side. And if you want to, you can go ahead and put uh, different uh, measurements on here. You can put it so you know you're on the same side as the other side. You can measure up your common thing, put a couple black marks on that is what you could do. And that would give you a, where you can allow both sides. Why most people are saying we already got a whole bunch of reviews on these already saying it just saves them just so much time in the river as you go down to the river you don't have to go look for a certain area to block out the stream and dam up the stream or anything now i can set this thing anywhere in the river i want look at the flow of the river is what it is and then you can just adjust these legs accordingly these legs like you said are at preset at uh, eight degrees so still if you want don't have that much flow doesn't take much to jack it up a little bit higher is what it is but it's still according to the flow and the mat is how you're setting it but it's kind of pre-set up so yeah there you go you got the leg kit installed and uh it's pretty simple these guys have a rubber boot on the bottom and so those work really good in the stream beds and if you want to end up driving these into the stream beds all you got to do is pop these rubber boots off the bottom there if you want to do like that you could you take a hammer pop that into the stream bed too so it makes it versatile um, uh, in the stream bed the way this thing actually packs you can end up putting them right along the side like this as you're packing it in there so here your legs are it's nice about them being nice and flat like that you can pack them in like that right along the side on both sides so it really helps it really easy really pack it so so there you got it simple easy installation kit of the 18 inch leg kit like i said biggest thing is just going off of the front side right here you can go up three to four inches from the bottom there no set thing it's just the biggest depending on how long your sluice is is what it is making sure this is right up underneath the bottom laying it flat when you're drilling it drill those couple of holes boom you got it so all right if you guys have any more questions but that's the simplicity of the 18 inch leg kit and uh mounting it in there get this in there go simple as that all right like like dave would say 